Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 17th Feb 2019. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit and its trading products and systems, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will look at the commodities, oil and gold, using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align the trades in the Markets direction. We will study markets direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of the market ETFs. In addition to aligning our trades with the markets direction, we like to align them with the industry strength. We'll study that using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum and certainly look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together, we call this at a glance template because it helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. After displaying a bullish headwind at the very bottom, oil went up. Last week, it ended with an inside candle, and this week, it went up strongly. We had a reversal candle this week. Price opened below previous week's low and then closed sharply higher. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily chart, price pulled back little bit and this week it went up again. In the last market roundup, looking at the weekly cyan backdrop candle color, I mentioned that if oil pulls back little bit and goes up, gives us a cyan color candle, that might give us a go with flow trend following long trade setup. We had the cyan color candle on Wednesday. However, that candle had an upper tail. Therefore, we would not take the long trade at the market close on Wednesday. Instead, we will use intraday entry template to make the long trade on Thursday near market open. Since then, price went up, so that trade is in profit now. The stop of the swing trade would be just below recent low and the initial profit target would be the upper boundary level. Gold ETF GLD In the weekly chart, we have a bullish shape candle. The color is neutral, that is yellow. Gold also had a reversal candle in the weekly chart. However, the relative performance line is tilting down unlike oil showing that gold is underperforming the market. In the daily chart 
price displayed a cyan color candle flow color is cyan that is bullish in the daily chart price went up from the daily memory support line however daily candle is very close to the upper boundary level that is one reason we wouldn't take a long trade in gold right now the other reason is that the weekly candle color is not cyan not bullish it is neutral and the third reason as i already mentioned is that the relative performance is tilting downward so it is not outperforming but underperforming the market we wouldn't like to take any swing long trade in gold right now from commodities analysis we move on to market breadth analysis we are studying market breadth using nasdaq composite index and nyse composite index both using weekly charts along with three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume both the indices are recovering sharply from the earlier price drops over longer term period though both of them are in a downtrend because price has recovered for many weeks from the lows both the indices and probably many of the stocks that went up with the indices are overbought this week for the first time both the indices became overbought in the weekly charts as well if we look at the internals the internals are bullish all the six internals went up this week and all of them closed above zero in summary we may conclude that the indices are recovering very well though over longer term they are in a downtrend the internals are bullish this week as bullish as it could be all the internals went up all of them closed above zero however both the indices are overbought even in weekly charts therefore you may be careful and not buy stocks that are also overbought let's see what conclusion we can arrive at from the market etfs analysis s&p 500 etf spy very nicely recovering in the weekly chart as well as in the daily chart weekly candle color and shape both are strongly bullish price is very close to the resistance memory in both weekly and daily chart and daily candle is above the upper boundary level spy is overbought in the daily chart and it is also overbought in the weekly chart what we see from here is that a market that is very strong recovering very strongly but it is overbought the same picture that we saw from the broad indices nasdaq etf qqq similar to spy recovering strongly in both weekly and daily charts daily is supported by memory trend line support price is close to the upper boundary level overbought in both daily and weekly charts dow jones industrials etf dia recovering strongly supported by memory trend line in the daily chart broke out of the memory resistance in the weekly chart with a very bullish shape and bullish color candle it's overbought in weekly as well as in the daily chart russell 2000 etf iwm again recovering strongly daily has a memory support line weekly candle color and shape both are strongly bullish in the daily chart price is above upper boundary level overbought in daily as well as in the weekly chart if we combine the result from the market breadth analysis and the market etf analysis we see a similar picture 
all the indices and ETFs are overbought not only in the daily time frame but also in the weekly time frame. You may not want to chase stocks that have already gone up with these instruments because that would not give you a low risk buying opportunity. Instead, you may wait for price to pull back, give a higher low and then try to take a long trade using low risk entry point. That is the conclusion you can arrive at from the market level analysis. However, market level is very broad. When you drill down into the sectors and further into the industries, look at the stocks fundamentals and then technicals, you can always find trade setups that are aligned with the forces from the industry fundamental and technical, giving you high probability and low risk trades. One month sector performance. Here we are analyzing the 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of this week. Green bar represents performance of previous week. And the blue bar represents performance of two weeks prior to the green bar. Together they represent one month of sector performance. This week, all the sectors went up, showing a bullish picture at the sector level. All the red bars came to the right of the zero line. In the last market roundup, based on sector acceleration shown by QH, I had mentioned that consumer discretionary stocks might be turning around from the bottom. That analysis was timely several consumer discretionary industries accelerated this week over five day as well as one day periods. You may look for buying opportunities in these industries. Consumer discretionary went up by 3.7% this week. Last week it had a small drop. Energy sector had a sharp reversal reversed strongly from being the worst performer one week ago when it went down by 6.5% to the best performer this week it went up by 7.7% this week not 7.5 7.7% this week it is the most accelerating sector you may look for buying opportunities in this sector This is another view of sector performance. Here we are looking at the sectors over one day period and five day period. All the 11 sectors went up over five day period as well as one day period showing that the market was very bullish this week. If we look at energy, it is the best performing sector over five day period and it is the best performer over one day period that is on Friday as well. Therefore, you may look for buying opportunities in this sector. Sector performance using QH sector scorecard and heat map. Here we analyze all the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, etc and assign a scorecard and heat map to all the sectors for all the periods. Cyan represents strength, magenta represents weakness. From this scorecard you can instantly see that currently for the 5 day period energy and healthcare are the strongest sectors and real estate and utilities are the weakest sectors. Therefore, if you are going to look for a buying opportunity, you would look for them in energy or healthcare. And if you are looking for shorting opportunities, you may look for them in real estate or utilities. However, sector level is very broad. To make accurate trading decisions, you may 
drill down into the industry level and buy into the strong industries and short into the weak industries. We will look at the industry analysis shortly. Healthcare you can see is becoming stronger. It was weaker earlier. The scores were in magenta color and now over 10 days and 5 days periods the scores have turned cyan. In fact, in our traders forum, I shared a trading idea on a healthcare stock. This was the forum post, trend following buying opportunity in a healthcare stock. It was on MDT, Medtronic. The trade easily hit its profit target in a few days. You may visit our forum and then look at this and other recent trade ideas shared there. Best performing industries analysis. We are looking at these industries 5 day and 10 day scores. In Q360 degree technique, we like to align forces from the industry fundamental as well as technical level with our trades. Going by that philosophy, you will look for buying opportunities from these most robust industries and avoid shorting. Three of the best performing industries are in the best performing energy sector. These are oil and gas exploration and production, coal and consumable fuels, and oil and gas drilling. In oil and gas exploration and production, the stock GPOR gave a trend following Q go with flow buying opportunity on this Friday 15th Feb that was also accompanied by a memory trend line resistance breakout. You might take a long position on Friday itself near market close. Earning is in 10 days on 27th Feb. Industry scorecard and heat map using QEdge. The best performing industries of this week are shown by cyan color under 5 day column. Oil and gas exploration and production is one of the strongest industries. Its score is in cyan color. If you look to the right, you will see the colors were magenta. That means it was weak earlier and now strengthened. Strengthened very sharply and suddenly that also shows up as acceleration under the pace column. The pace column represents acceleration or deceleration. Cyan color here represents acceleration and magenta represents deceleration. Oil and gas exploration and production accelerated and became very strong. You would look for a buying opportunity in this industry. When you drill down into this industry, you find GPOR. It has excellent valuation. The valuation score is coming in cyan color under valuation column that shows it has excellent valuation. The EPS latest quarter growth column shows that it is in bright green and it also accelerated from the previous quarter. You therefore have an industry that is strong and it is accelerating and a stock in the industry GPOR that is value stock with accelerating earnings growth. It has accelerating revenue growth as well in the latest quarter. You will look for a buying opportunity then on the technical charts. This is GPOR using Q at a glance template, the weekly backdrop and daily hop on or trade entry chart template. In the weekly, the backdrop candle color is cyan and the candle shape is also bullish. In the daily price made a higher low 
and then gave us a cyan color candle on this Friday. That made all the conditions for the go with flow long trade setup on Friday. It was also accompanied by a breakout of the memory resistance. You could take a long trade at the close of Friday, put stop just below recent low and try to book profit either at the memory resistance line or the upper boundary level. Worst performing industries Just like you would look for buying opportunity in the best performing industries, you would look for shorting opportunity in these weak industries. However, this week the market is strongly bullish at the broad indices level, market ETFs level, sector level, in fact at the industries level as well. Because the market is strongly bullish, it may be better to avoid shorting in the current market situation. I did not look for any shorting opportunity this week for that reason. Worst performing industries in QH are shown by magenta color under 5 days column. You can see this week out of hundreds of industries that we track only 11 industries decline 135 went up. That shows that the market is very bullish at the industry level as well. Of the 11 industries that went down, 7 of them are in defensive industries, utilities, real estate and consumer staples. That shows that the market is very bullish and only the defensive industries are relatively weaker. This is not a time that you start looking for shorting opportunities, you may wait for the market to weaken and then start to look for shorting opportunities. In the current market situation, it will be better to look for buying opportunities and you will look for them in strong industries, in strong fundamental stocks and in stocks that are not overbought but that are giving low risk buying opportunities. Accelerating industries, these were behind other industries but now they are gaining momentum. These accelerating industries often give low risk buying opportunities at the bottom just as the stocks start to recover after a price decline. Five of the most accelerating industries are from the most accelerating energy sector. These are oil and gas exploration and production, oil and gas equipment and services, oil and gas drilling, oil and gas refining and marketing, and coal and consumable fuels. Therefore, energy sector is strong from many different angles. It is the strongest sector, it is the most accelerating sector. Many of these sectors industries are in the best performers list and five of them are also in the most accelerating industries list. You would definitely look for buying opportunities there. We already discussed one stock in these industries that is at a buy point. I may discuss more of energy stocks at buy points in the Monday market meet. For now, let me focus on the auto parts and equipment industry that is also one of the most accelerating industries. In this industry, ADNT went up by 14.4% this week from a Q price extreme low. We call it pendulum low also. It is a value stock seen from Cube Vital stock scorecard. You may look for a buying opportunity if it breaks above the 
memory resistance in the daily chart which is around the 21 price level. Accelerating industries from QH, they are shown by cyan color under base 5 day column. Auto parts and equipment is one of the accelerating industries. Its score this week is cyan and it had magenta scores earlier. In this industry, ADNT is a value stock. Its score is in cyan color under valuation column and the stock has a short squeeze potential as well. The stock declined along with the industry and the industry is accelerating now. The stock is a value stock in terms of fundamentals. You may look for a buying opportunity now on Q technical charts. ADNT using weekly daily at a glance template. In the weekly it is creating a nice base for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 weeks. The weekly candle color and shape both are bullish now. The earnings is over so earnings related uncertainty is not there. In the daily chart after displaying the bullish headwind it couldn't go down below that anymore. Now price is inside a triangle pattern formed by the support memory and the resistance memory. You may try to take a long position in ADNT in one of two ways. One is to see if price comes to the support trend line and reverses from there. That will give you a very low risk buying opportunity. The other technique would be for you to wait for ADNT to break out of the memory resistance and then probably pull back and go up again giving you a low risk trading opportunity. You may use either of these two techniques to look for a buying opportunity in ADNT. Decelerating industries, these are the industries that were stronger earlier and now losing momentum. These industries alert you when to book profit in existing long positions and when to start looking for bearish setups at the very top. Usually you would look for shorting opportunities here. This week as the market is strongly bullish, it may be better to avoid shorting I therefore did not look for any shorting opportunity from the decelerating industries this week. In QH industry scorecard, the decelerating industries are shown by magenta color under paste column. As I mentioned, I didn't look for any shorting opportunity this week, but normally you would look into these decelerating industries and then drill down using one of the icon buttons at the top, look at the underlying stocks, look for fundamentally weak stocks and then look for technical short setup on Q charts. That would give you Q360 degree trades where the industry's weakness, fundamental weakness and the technical weakness are aligned together with your trade. Those were our regular topics. Let me summarize. The market is recovering very nicely. It has gone up for several weeks now. The market indices as well as the market ETFs are now overbought, not only in the daily time frame but also in the weekly time frame. Many stocks may also be overbought. You may avoid chasing them and buy stocks that are already up and that are not giving you low risk buying opportunities. On the other hand, using Q360 degree technique by looking at industry strength, then drilling down and finding fundamentally strong stocks and looking for Q technical trade setup, you are always able to find some stock 
that is giving you low risk high probability trade setup in any market condition we could take several such trades in the past week and we identified several potential trades for the coming week as well that is all that i plan to share in today's session i look forward to seeing you in our next session and also in the monday market meetings have a great weekend and trade profitably